My name is Jorge Caicedo, and I'm a cancer survivor. The initial diagnosis was I'd gotten a hernia. I've had the hernia surgery done here. They did a, a scan, and that's when they told me, said, well, we found um, cancer. The type of cancer that Mr. Caicedo has is called low-grade mucinous adenocarcinoma. He actually had this cancer all throughout his abdomen which was surprising because he's a young, healthy guy. The hospital at first had suggested it be some type of a chemo treatment, which I figured was, you know, par for the course. And then there was um, the, the HIPEC option. I specialize in this procedure called cytoreduction with hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. And so what that means is taking a patient to surgery and removing all of the cancer that you can see within the belly. And once that's all gone, you put in hot chemotherapy for 90 minutes, and then you close them and you send them to the intensive care unit for monitoring. It's a great procedure. I think it's innovative. We have great survival rates. So for patients to get this in New Orleans, I think is, is bringing standard of cancer treatment here. HIPEC's different from traditional chemotherapy because it's more of a localized treatment. Most people who get chemotherapy are getting it through their veins. But when you have a cancer like Mr. Casado's, which is just coating the belly, the drugs that can go through the veins may not reach. And this is what makes the HIPEC procedure better for those patients. The way the HIPEC was described to me, it was different than your standard chemo. You know, it wouldn't be systemic chemo treatments. As a result, I wouldn't suffer the side effects a lot of chemo patients do, with the hair falling out or being sick and whatnot. He was uh, very interested in not only retaining his quantity of life, but also his quality of life. And this really just left this procedure open to him. There was apprehension and uh, I would say second guessing. <laughs> like, do I really have to do this? But Dr. Nerlich, she was actually able to put my fears at rest this is not an easy procedure. It's a big incision. In the sense of hospital stay, it's much longer. Patients are usually here on average about two weeks after surgery. But again, it's kind of giving up two weeks with a big procedure to hit a home run and to have a good quantity and quality of life after this. That was a great way to, to lose 21 pounds. Not that I was setting out to lose 21 pounds, but over time, just little by little, everything came back. Usually they return to a functional baseline after three months and then back to their normal baseline by six months. He's well exceeded that. Now I'm completely cancer free. I got the blood work results back uh, a few weeks ago. Dr. Nerli, she's like, go out and celebrate. You know, so completely cancer free. He is back to working out. He's back to playing in his band. He's back to work. So he's doing great. I mean, I feel like I'm cancer free, you know, it's like I go through this with them. So to deliver that news is just, that's just a really special thing to be a part of. University Medical Center has an incredible legacy. I think now we're moving into a new phase where besides providing care for all, we're also becoming a destination hospital for specialty care. And the Cancer Center is a fantastic example of this. By bringing innovative procedures here, we're showing that we stand out amongst the other players. 